God grant us the serenity to accept the things we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Your will, not ours, be done. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, good morning. And I know some of you know exactly where I am, but I want to sort of like save the smiling part of this place for you. I guess you all may have thought the rain had me delayed and I wasn't coming on. But that's not going to happen. I am a little bit delayed because I was doing some walking to another point, just checking it out and feeling what it felt like this morning. But I decided to come back here and do our video from here this morning. Good morning to you. We're in the bay here um, in Whole Town. This is just to the north of the actual center itself. <clears throat> in the distance there, you will see the walls remaining from what was Discovery Bay. That is not too sure what's going on there, but I do know it's supposed to go under renovations, major renovations. And then um, just coming closer to us is the Sandpiper, which um, is open, but I'm not sure if they're guests there at the moment. And then there's Settlers Beach, which is here. Um, that is not open at the moment. That's going through refurbishments. And just to the north of where I am, the only hotel that's open on that section there is Coral Reef. And they do have in guests for sure. You know, it's a beautiful, beautiful morning in Barbados. And just like to let you know that it's raining, as was predicted. Uh, however, that's not stopping us. And as usual, we somehow were graced with no rain at the time we start to film. Um, so I just want to show you where we are. I'm going to do a little stroll for all those this morning that are unable to get outdoors and do their own stroll. We're going to take care of that for you this morning. And as always, we promise to bring you the beauty of Barbados when we do so. So good morning to all of you all. I see there are a lot of people on this morning already. I noticed a hundred and something friends of mine on. There are only 33 people viewing at the moment, so hopefully more will join us. And if they don't, it's not a problem. We don't need anyone else to make us happy. We just have to be here ourselves. And obviously, it's nice to have our friends with us as well. Okay, we can do a little strolling now for you. As you can see, the sea has cleared completely up on the west coast. I'm not sure how bad it was down here, because to be honest with you, I did not come here um, after the ash fall. I do see a lot of ash on the boulders that they have surrounding this area, protect this area and try and build sand. As you can see, it has really worked. It is a beautiful strip of beach. Many of you all know the stiletto. That sort of is like a landmark here. You could call this the stiletto bay, maybe. <laughs> uh, the guys who own the two of those have been here all their lives. This is where they apply their business from, from the set go. Beautiful, beautiful beach. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna walk for a little bit and not say anything so you can enjoy how the West Coast sounds. Just before I go any further, I'll just like let you know the smell. Mansion Hills, a beautiful, beautiful, unique smell to this side of the island. And because of the rain and stuff, you must stay away from them. If you're here in the West Coast, they are the most preferred shade tree. However, if it's raining, you stay away from them because the water that drips off them will most definitely blister you. Do not touch the small apples and do not do like some, eat them or try them. Because uh, I will tell you, you will be in serious trouble. They have a terrible blistering effect on them. Okay, here we go guys again, and we're gonna go for our quietness now. I've been practicing this quietness, so we should be able to do a little bit this morning. Here we go. I'm sure many of you have sat on this deck in here um, at the Sandpiper. I'm sure of that because this is one beautiful spot for sure. I love the inset, little small little inset cove. It gives them their own little, like, not private beach, but their own little area that they, you know, call it a little cove. It's beautiful, absolutely stunning. I know, like now, many of you must be saying, I wonder what that water feels like. And 
I wonder what's gonna go on today. Well, I'm gonna tell you, I'm going for a swim right now with you, so you can see. Just um, to mention again, this is the drop off that I keep warning um, folks about. It's not dangerous, but if you're unaware of it and you come in here and you have any kind of knee ailments or anything like that, you can have some, you know, can have some problems getting back out. Um, the getting in is not the problem. The getting back out is the problem. You probably have to go on all fours. So if you're not capable of going on all fours, um, just be wary before you go in. Have a look at the descent and then choose from there. There are many, many areas that don't. You know, on the West Coast will always have this, but there are areas that have a little less angle, a little less gradient. So you can find somewhere that's more suited for you. Oh, there we go. It dropped quite a bit there. All right, it is perfect. Now, where you see those two markers there with lights on them, um, that is a reef on the outside that they have formed with boulders. That is probably one of the nicest snorkeling reefs uh, here and also just the other side of Old Town, um, the Sunset Crest area. Um, are two lovely little snorkeling reefs. If you don't want to swim out to any reef or go on the actual reef itself, you can come to these artificial reefs and there's an abundance of uh, fish and small fish on those reefs. Uh, this is uh, my favorite place for my girl to come and snorkel, very close to the beach and just calm and easy floating. Spectacular day here in Barbados. I'm gonna give you a better angle here too, so you can really appreciate the glare and the perfect calmness on the glass of this water this morning. If anyone thinks that we can't keep it fresh and that we can't do things on rainy days, they do not know the AMC. The AMC is forever, forever finding stuff to do. I have a place lined up I was gonna go today. Not gonna let the cat out the bag, I will um, let you all know, confirm the time and everything, like tonight or tomorrow morning. But for those online, please join me tomorrow. It is another natural beauty. And you're gonna have an amazing time with me, I am sure. I'm getting more and more consent from more operations in the island to come and um, you know do our videos. And I think that's because of seeing the general reaction that you all are giving. I mean, most, most attractions have been overwhelmed with comments, you know, promises of visits, and it is something that they all want to see at this time. You know, it is called hope. Oh, uh, right now, you know, things are very dismal. As you all can appreciate, they are over the entire world. But Barbados attractions are terribly suffering right now. And, uh, you know, they just need a sign of hope. And you all have created that for them. You know, the responses I've seen are, are amazing. It shows our love doesn't just spread among ourselves. It spreads to everyone. To all those that view these videos, they are not actually official members of the EMC. We are not um, ruling you out of our gatherings or our friendships or anything. It just is that this is an EMC video. So this is dedicated to those that get up in the morning and come and join us. I know for sure if we get one or two new members, we would have hit the 150 because last night, you know, we were in the high 140s. I keep a continuous record, but as you've seen, I can't continue tagging. You know, we're starting to get, it's starting to get too difficult and I have to start to tailor off different areas to try and make these possible. And also to get out there and go and pay different checks, um, you know, signal checks from around different locations so that we will be able to go to different spots. I don't want to go somewhere in the morning I find out when they get there, the signal is not good. I've been to everywhere except for Cocoa Hill Forest, which we went the other day. I've been everywhere before um, in Barbados that I've been to with you all or that you all have seen videos of. There's nowhere that I have not been, but the signal strength is the thing I want to make sure that we have good coverage of that. It's a nice long video today, and that's because I'm starting to push a little more extra data. Yes, they went and increased the package so we can do longer videos and take in more of the beauty. So what I'm gonna do right now is our silent 360 from within the water. Enjoy this, please. Everyone knows that I listen to Bob Marley on the way over or wherever I go. I have 65 of his songs from 16 of his albums that I have selected as being my inspirational songs. And this morning, I hope I do the quote right. And if I don't do it right, well, forgive me. It's early in the morning. Tongue is not woken up fully yet, although it may not appear that way. And it was, you know, uh, it was actually a, a beautiful, beautiful song. It says, you know, don't worry about a thing. Everything will be all right. You know, so I just want you all to understand that, that everything is going to be all right. 
You know, we are not the people that make our futures or make our present. We are the people that are just guided along a path by God. And God will make sure that everything will be all right. Yes, I saw someone just put up an icon there of someone taking a bubble bath. All of my sins are being washed away right now. I start today in a brand new way. I haven't committed any sins this morning. I can assure you of that. I'm not saying I'm not going to commit in three days because I am human and humans do that. But tonight I will ask God to forgive me for everything that I've done that's not been right. And then tomorrow morning I will start out a brand new day as long as he gives me life. And if he gives me life, I will see you all at a spectacular location tomorrow. You know, everyone, have a great day. I see 56 actually streaming right now. So I know we're having a tremendous morning. You all take care. My love from Barbados as always. My respect to you all. Go forward today. Bring peace and love to this world. Those around you that do not, uh, you know, do not believe in love, peace or anything or strive to make it the opposite. You don't worry about them. You don't let them ruin your day. You've been put here by God to love, to enjoy, and to help others. And that is what our mission is today going forward. Have a great day, everyone, from Barbados again. Enjoy yourselves, and I'll see you tomorrow. God spare life.